Yeah, even just looking at all this just gives me a headache. Whew, I know. Can't believe we worked like this before. Ugh. So with any business, time is money. And as a media production company, one of the biggest time wasters is transferring files. Now, on average, an editor would have about 30 minutes downtime per day just transferring files. And this really starts to compound the bigger your team gets. Yeah, and you can imagine even for a small team of four editors, that would be two hours a day, 14 hours a week that could have been spent editing. Well, we got tired of wasting time and money, and today we're discussing how we tackle this issue. Yeah, we <coughs> got a server. So what is a server, or in our case, a NAS? NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, and just like it sounds, it's a centralized storage connected to your network. It's basically a bunch of hard drives connected to each other that can be accessed at high speeds by everyone in the network, even remotely. Now, no matter what, in our industry, whether you're shooting weddings or you're doing commercial work, one thing that we all have in common is the storing of the media that we capture for our clients. Most of our projects come in at about 350 gigabytes of media, and transferring this much data takes a lot of time. Now, this process is the same for all of us, but the struggle really comes down when multiple editors are trying to access the same footage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine you're working on an edit on your machine and you need to pass that edit to another editor. You would have to transfer it to an external drive, hand it over to that other editor, and they would have to transfer it to their PC before they can even start working on it. And that just slows down the process significantly. And people often use the external drive as their working drive, but then that brings up another issue, which is storage space. I mean, this can only hold so many projects before you have to offload it. And then we're back to transferring files once again from one hard drive to the other. With a NAS, you get the benefit of large capacity in addition to speeds that rival or even exceed SSDs. So how does the NAS solve our problem? Well, today, when we have a project completed, we ingest all the footage into the NAS for access to all. Now, say if Germ starts working on a video and I need to finish it, I can access all of the files straight from this from my machine without any downtime of transferring files because all of the files are centralized in the NAS. Yeah, and another benefit of having a NAS is redundancy. Our files have an additional layer of protection because of the NAS. The way our setup is configured allows us for one drive fault tolerance, meaning that if one drive were to fail, we simply replace it and all our data would be safe. With an external drive, if that were to fail, your data would be lost. Now, redundancy is not backup. We still have a backup solution, and that's a whole nother topic. And if you want us to make a video about that, leave a comment below. Yeah. Now, while this might not be a necessity for everyone, if you are looking to increase your workflow efficiency uh, for your small business, where there are maybe multiple editors trying to access the same footage, a NAS server might be a good fit for you. You'll have the benefits such as redundancy, the high-speed transfers, and remote access to all the footage anywhere you have access to internet. Yeah, check out the description below for all the links of the components we use. Like or dislike this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next video. Oh no! Oh no! Stop the server!